that there is hope, they're not lost. They're confused. They've been told the wrong information and that God is real and that He died for them and He rose from the grave for them and He loves them and He's here waiting for them. They just have to take that step of faith and there's other people in this church that will help them and guide them to get them to that point. They may not make that decision, you know, that Sunday or that week, but that doesn't mean that God's not there for them. They may be, I have not given up fighting. And I think as parents and as people in church, I think it's our duty not to give up and not to quit you know, praying for them, not to, you know, stop thinking about them, not to, you know, you know just forget about them. You know, God designed them for a purpose. The world is going to fill your mind with lies. They're going to tell you you're not worth it. They're going to tell you, you know, give up. But God has some bigger plan for you. He loves you. He died for you. He rose from the grave for you. <laughs> These kids in kids' church, they're here for a reason and for a purpose. They are our next generation. Not to sound cliche, but... They really are. I see them growing in the Lord. Everyone has something to offer at any age. You know, God used Abraham at a very old age. He had a baby. You know, we can't limit what God can do, no matter how old we are, who we are, what we think we're capable of. God just wants willing people. It's not just a one-man show. It's a group effort.